This video will discuss dental hypersensitivity and the application of Gluma. Before getting started, take a look at the learning objectives that this video will achieve. Is this face something that's familiar to you? Or maybe you've seen this face on one of your patients during their cleaning appointment. Whether eating or drinking something cold, or even brushing their teeth, one out of eight patients will complain about tooth sensitivity. Dental hypersensitivity is a short, sharp, painful reaction that occurs when areas of exposed dentin have contact with some sort of stimuli. Although there are a number of different things that can produce pain associated with dental hypersensitivity, in this lesson, we're going to focus on two of the more common etiologies or causes, thermal and tactile stimuli. Thermal stimuli reflect changes in temperature that elicit the discomfort associated with hypersensitivity. Examples of thermal stimuli include drinking something hot or cold or even exposure to cold air. Most patients state that cold temperature is the most common cause for their pain. Tactile stimuli reflect discomfort associated with hypersensitivity when the exposed root surface comes into contact with something that causes the pain. Examples of these can include a toothbrush, eating utensils, and even the dental instruments you're using as you clean your patient's teeth. So, you may be asking yourself, how does the dentin become exposed? One of the more common reasons as to why the dentin becomes exposed revolves around toothbrushing. Think about how and where you brush your teeth. Although all surfaces of a tooth are brushed, brushing at the gum line or cervical aspect of the tooth lends itself to causing gingival recession and therefore exposure of the root structure. Improper brushing, using a toothbrush, or abrasive substances when brushing the teeth can actually remove tooth structure at the cervical area and cause the dentin to become exposed. Now, maybe you're asking yourself, why would the patient experience pain? To talk about the reason why pain is felt, we need to return to early tooth anatomy. Looking at a single tooth, let's remove the gingiva. Next, let's remove the bone that surrounds the tooth. You should remember that the cementum covers the root and therefore covers the dentin that is found in the root. Cutting the tooth in half, you see the yellow dentin, but also the very thin layer of cementum that covers this dentin. Next, I am going to enlarge this small section of the cementin, dentin, and pulp. As you remember, dentin is made up of thousands of tubules. Although these tubules are hard, they are similar to a straw and are hollow. These tubules run in a direction that goes from the pulp to the outside of the tooth. The cementum covers the outside aspect of the dentin. By having the cementum cover this dentin, the tubules are not open. If a patient has no cementum or loses their cementum, you can already guess that this will be an issue. The tubules are open and sensitivity is experienced. Although a variety of in-office methods are used to decrease dental hypersensitivity, these are used as a last step in managing the patient's sensitivity. Today, we will focus on one of the main in-office treatments that's used, the application of Gluma. Gluma is a chemical agent used as an in-office remedy for the control of dental hypersensitivity. 
The chemical agent used in gluma is called glutaraldehyde. Gluma is applied to exposed root surfaces where it works by occluding the dental tubules. Let's take a look at how gluma works to decrease a patient's sensitivity. By applying gluma on the exposed dental tubules, it fills in the openings of these tubules. By doing this, the passage of stimuli through the tubules is decreased and results in decreased sensitivity. To place Gluma on a patient, you will need the following supplies. Gluma desensitizer, a single dose applicator, cotton rolls, and 2x2 two two sterile gauze. The manufacture of Gluma makes the application of Gluma easy for you to remember. They include a visual card that shows the application sequence. In this application, this patient, like most patients that Gluma will be placed on, is sensitive to air and cold. After gathering the necessary supplies, open the Gluma desensitizer. To do this, Twist the top in one direction until you hear a snap. Place a cotton roll in the buccal vestibule. This will be used to isolate the area and to help ensure that the cheek and tissues are not within the working zone. To adequately dry a sensitive patient, dry the exposed dentin using a 2x2 two two gauze. Dip the applicator into the gluma. Wipe the gluma over the exposed dentin or root surface for one minute. You will need to re-dip the applicator into the gluma a few times. Once the gluma has been applied, lightly dry the tooth using air. If the patient notes that the area is still sensitive, an additional application of gluma can be done. Additional follow-up appointments may be needed for the reapplication of gluma. So to review, Isolate, dry, apply, and dry.